Okay, hey, I get it. An hour, an episode might be a little long. I won't deny that I don't have a lot of trouble filling an hour, but sometimes my stream of consciousness trails off. I understand, totally get it. So here's what I'm gonna do. Going forward, I'm gonna try to keep the episodes short. Less than half an hour. Less than half an hour, but not less than like 10 minutes. I don't want them extremely short either. I get if the past episodes, sometimes I've spoken slower, sometimes I've spoken faster. Whenever the juice starts kicking in, starts speaking more passionately, and it becomes inconvenient to listen to the entire episode at one and a half times the speed if I'm going to be speaking slower or speeding up all of a sudden. Uh, The project continues. This will continue to be a self-help project in order to improve my social skills, how I'll be speaking, how I will be orating um, and arguing. So that's going to be always in the front and the back of my mind. But I think with 20 to 30 minutes of quality material, if ever I feel like jumping on here and venting in a cathartic manner, um, I'll do so. I will definitely do so, especially on topics that uh, my associates and I talk about and uh, we feel are taboo or contentious. Definitely, I... I want to get those ideas out there into the universe so as to inform others that uh, those ideas exist. Everything will still be tied to corporate, related to corporate. If I haven't introduced myself, go listen to this to the beginning of every other episode. This this episode I'm gonna title Going Forward. Going forward because I feel like um, I feel like there's got to be some some novelty, some change to keep it fresh, and to uh, not have an hour be uh, be a wait that folks have to listen through, and um, sometimes there's sometimes there's a conversation or or yeah, just conversation because it's just between myself. That's just not as interesting, and I think cutting it down to twenty to thirty minutes is uh, digestible. It's a digestible sound bit, especially when nowadays uh, attention spans aren't fit, aren't cut out for a fucking hour of of, of of just straight uncut dope. (laughs) Um... Well, my name is Alex. Just a quick quick introduction. My name is Alex. I'm the social media intern. Yours truly. Yours forever. Entry level forever for the Corporate Cowboys podcast. Powered by Incorporating Associates. That's a subsidiary of um, Associates, Incorporating Associates. Um, if you are looking to to support the channel, by all means, you can find us on Instagram. That's the handle at incorporating dot associates underscore I A. Again, that's at incorporating associates. Hold on, <clears throat> at incorporating dot associates underscore I A. And anywhere podcasts are found. Any of the markets, Apple Podcast, uh, Spotify, Anchor. Um, I think Castbox and Overcast, or wherever they are distributed, wherever you listen to your podcast, you can found you can find the Corporate Cowboys podcast. So yeah, going forward, expect these to be. Expect these episodes to be a lot more candid. Um, In in the past, I know, I I mean, it was all off the top of the head. There was no script. Uh, This time, with the the shorter episodes, I will have a concise topic where, in the past, hour-long episodes, I could cover myriad fucking topics. 
Now with a shorter topic, I can go in depth into one thing, one or two things max, and uh, give a complete opinion on what it means to view the world through the lens of a corporate cowboy. <laughs> oh, the date? Yeah, I guess. Proof of life. Saturday, February 6th, 2021. And the weather is nice outside. It's sunny. It rained uh, a little bit this week. Much needed. Could always use it. <clears throat> and I hope it continues to. Though the sun is nice. Much appreciated. So going forward. And going forward, it's important to keep in mind that my opinions reflect the opinions of corporate though they are spoken from me personally I'm just the voice I'm not the brain the ideas come down and then they're expressed and acted on plans are made plans are executed that's fucking corporate that's corporate for you Uh, there aren't, there, there aren't any corporate sponsors for the podcast at the moment. If you would like to sponsor an episode or sponsor a topic, uh, if you need some kind of consult, I do, uh, professional consultations, career consultations for individuals and for organizations. I do organizational consultations as well. Organizational audits. Feel free to reach out to incorporating associates you can again find us online shoot us an email you can write to us directly snail mail it p.o box 3372 rancho cordova california 95742 and now that they're shorter now that the episodes are shorter I'm feeling, well, I'm not really feeling corporate um, current events. I'm not really feeling current events because giving an opinion of shit that's happening now in politics, you're you're liable to catch a fucking shell, you know? Um, But as far as opinions on corporate events, current corporate events, um, I mean, nobody's been... Actually, yeah, folks have been overtly knocked off for (laughs) for uh, dissenting against corporate, but I'm not even really dissenting. Um, Again, I'm not in total agreement. I'm not completely on board, but not even CEOs are completely on board with what their organizations are doing. That's why motherfuckers like myself exist. Corporate cowboys. We come in on contract independently. You can 1099 us or in something more physical, more material. And we put in work. We put in work. What needs to be done? Investigatory, research, executory. It is what it is. As a corporate cowboy, you have to know the ins and outs of corporate and cannot be afraid to get your hands dirty. So if um, if you haven't yet, you can visit the website Associates Incorporating Associates dot org. There's a shop. Pick yourself up an insignia pin, rock it, wear it. Little by little, they're going out. And if you ever catch one in public, feel free to give them a nod. Either the nod down or the nod up. (laughs) Just something subtle. You don't have to go all out. Oh my goodness. 
You're an incorporating associate also? You know, keep it professional. Keep it professional. Though, I mean, it's nice to see them in the wild. It's nice to see them in public. Don't get me wrong. Every time I see one, one of those handcrafted, what is it? Nickel plated or, or bronze plated. It just gives me a sense of, um, gives me a sense of goodwill, a sense of confidence, knowing that there's others out there with a similar mindset, with similar aspirations of being a corporate professional, being a consummate professional, working within corporate, working between corporations. Because going forward, you can't be, you can't think of yourself as the little guy. You can't. Even if you are, because the little guy still has a lot of power. The little guy has a lot more maneuverability. The little guy has a lot more adaptability going for it than a large, slow-moving whale of a corporation. The little guy can change directions in real time. And in corporate, that shit takes at least two hours. If, if they're operating at peak efficacy, at peak efficiency, if they're operating at peak efficiency, a move should take no longer than two hours. So, you know, take that into account. When in the past, before smartphones, before smartphones were like a real fucking thing, moves would take two weeks. Why? Because everybody had the pretextual excuse. Oh, you know, it's going to take some time to kick this up management and fucking management's got to make a decision. Nah, not anymore, man. Not anymore. Either you're making moves or you're dead. Wait. Either you're making moves or you're dead weight. And that's right. That could be even middle managers, store managers, if they're corporate cowboys, then they're making moves. They're making moves. It's not a usurpation of power. It's not. It's an appropriation of power. So long as it's used righteously, it's not a misappropriation of power. But, unfortunately, they are humans. And they fall to temptation they fall to vices, they fall to avarice. And so instead of moving like a corporate cowboy, they move like a, um, <clears throat> what's a good term for that? Somebody who's bad, somebody who's who is who moves criminally, right? But like doesn't even do it righteously cuz you can be a stand-up guy with a criminal mind. So you could you could think and move and act like a criminal, but you can be a good person just doing bad things. You know, it's qualifiably. You could qualifiably be a righteous person and slaughter a whole city or a whole organization to put it into perspective. Just laying off motherfuckers, ending their livelihoods. It's the same thing as death, I suppose. Or you could be, <clears throat> what is it, just an inept person um, just a piece of shit who, who knows how to work the system, but only works it to benefit themselves out of self-interest. Um, what do you call them? I mean, I've, I've got no, I've got no, uh, I don't have a good word for it. It's either, it's on the tip of my fucking medulla oblongata. And I can't come up 
with a word for it. But arguably, they're just fucking pieces of shit that you don't want working for you or you don't want working with you anyways. So it's best to eliminate them. And yeah, corporate cowboys can turn bad. Can become, oh, it's corrupt. That's it. (laughs) That was the word. The corrupted. That's right. That's right. Corrupted. And that busts open a can of C words. Cancerous. Cunts. (laughs) But corrupted. And you don't want them working for you. I mean, effective corporate cowboys, like really capable corporate cowboys, have skills to corrupt the corrupted. If you can't eliminate them immediately, you have to be able to use them in order to edge them them out, box them out, corrupt the corrupted. It's kind of like working with double negatives. That may or may not be uh, one of those episodes I mentioned about. One of those episodes I was referring to. I mentioned about. Fuck out of here. One of those episodes I was talking about. And they're going to be shorter. Until then. It's. uh, It's because my schedule is packed. I mean, I can't set an hour aside and expect folks to listen to. Five, ten different fucking topics on opinions that might come up. So every now and then, if I need to hop on here, vent a little bit in a cathartic manner. They might be slow going. They might be fast going. Um, I don't believe I'll ever cry on record. But there's going to be a lot of laughter. Um, very rarely when I get mad... But passion is a thing. So the recurring themes are going to be my self-improvement. Innovating my logic, refreshing my logic and my tact. Verbalizing ideas, putting them out there in order to evaluate their soundness in order to improve uh, the way I speak, the way I argue, how I pronounce, whether or not I can evoke emotion out of listeners. I know that's a skill many possess. And um, I know I'm able to put that down into words, but as far as speaking it off the top of my head without the script, that becomes a little more difficult and something that I would like to actively work on in order to elicit emotion from my audience, in order to wake them up, in order to, hold on, hold on, not wake them up, that sounds fucking retarded, in order to awaken their emotions, awaken their passions, I don't know. But again, uh, if you want to sponsor the podcast, by all means, you can send donations uh, by writing to us, writing letters. They can be read on air. P.O. Box 3372, Rancho Cordova, California, 95742. We accept small gifts, what have you, questionable items, precious metals, questionable items. You know, just items for EDC. Um, If you're feeling generous, you can also PayPal us. PayPal.me slash Corporate Cowboys. We're on Cash App. at uh, That's dollar sign Corporate Cowboys. And Venmo. That's Alex underscore Coco. Keep in mind, and I do have to, I feel like I have to say this, is that all donations are going to go directly to me and will be used for the furtherance of um, 
organizational activities, the organizational mission. So that's legal fees, mostly. That's going to be uh, reimbursements for expenses as an intern. I do get reimbursements. So while I'm not collecting a salary yet because I'm not active, I'm not a, what is it? I'm not an employee. While I'm not collecting a salary because I'm not an employee, I do get reimbursed for any personal expenses. So until then, going forward, expect shorter episodes Ones that'll ones that you could listen to on the ride to work. They don't have to be fucking hour long. Because I doubt a lot of folks are commuting right now, commuting that fucking hour. So if they can be 20, 30 minutes, something to get you hyped up, you can absolutely listen to uh dope dealing, op killing music while driving to your nine to five. Or you could listen to my smooth, smooth voice in order to put yourself in that mind frame and remain calm, cool, and collected on your way into work and think like a corporate cowboy. (laughs) Have a nice weekend.